Alright, let's talk about front gear timing. So this is a John Deere 4039 engine. This is our crankshaft right here. The engine is flipped upside down, the oil pan's up here, just for the work that's happening right now. What we should see from our crankshaft is that the crank is going to drive two idler gears. This lower idler gear is going to drive into a balance shaft, the oil pump, and the other balance shaft. This upper because this engine's upside down, right now it looks lower, but the upper idler gear is what connects the crankshaft to both the cam and the fuel pump drive gear. Now, when we check the timing on this engine, what's really important is that we are going to pin the crankshaft into top dead center number one using the pin in the flywheel housing and the flywheel. Once we've done that, we can use this John Deere JD254A timing tool to verify our cam and our fuel pump timing. And the way we do that is we would take the Y side of this tool and we would put it on the stub shaft of our crankshaft and we would move this tool until it's in line with the center, machine center of the camshaft. When that happens, this tool should cover a hash mark or a timing mark that's been pressed into the gear right here. So with this tool on the stub of the crank, passing through the center of the cam, does it cover up that machine mark or that hash mark there? And it does. So the camshaft presently is in time with the crank. Now the other one we will do is use this tool the same way on the stub through the center machine center of our fuel pump drive shaft. And in this case, it has to line up to the mark saying four for the four cylinder engine. Now that we've confirmed that, we can then continue with the rest of the front structure because we know the crank, the cam, and the fuel pump are all timed to TDC number one.